you are smash it! Come on, mate. Whoa, hey! Hey! Three teenagers have been reported stealing on the beach. They stole, they stole some bloke's phone. Yeah. A couple of others running around. But, uh, where's your mate going, you reckon? The victim is Luciano, a 22-year-old backpacker from Italy. When I was about to reach my bag, I saw them trying to open it. And the guy took the phone off. And I said, what are you doing? He said, I thought it was my father's bag. I'm going to get it back. Meanwhile, Azza has caught a second suspect behind the pavilion. Back at the tower, things are turning nasty. Put the camera off before I smash it! Come on, mate. Whoa, hey! <laughs> Hoppo and Terry caught the third suspect in a hotel car park. Found him in the Swiss Grand. When I came back, I see three kids in there, and then the cops were coming, and sirens were going, and just chaos. They told me it was going to be like that, just non-stop action. And I seen it firsthand. Pull your head in. Uh, maybe you've learned a lesson out of it. Hey, his phone was in the back. He had his phone, and he gave it back. Well, that's all right, then. Police going to calm down. That'll work, yeah? You say you've done nothing wrong, you've done nothing wrong. How old are you guys? Thirteen. Thirteen. Guys, have any ideas? Um, no. Do you know why you're here? Um, uh, we took the phone. You took the phone. Do you understand that you're not free to leave? Three you at this stage. Okay. Dino decides not to press assault charges. You know, it's a disgusting, despicable act of stealing people's stuff. So. You know, and he's trying to attack me and assault me, so my, my heart rate's elevated. There's been an allegation, mate. Like hang on a sec. Sure. Just hang on. We're going to bring all three of you. Sit down. Sit down. Hey, you're Sit not down. free to leave. You've been I told, told that, you, Spain, you're not free to leave. The three of you will be brought back to the police station. Don't get upset. We'll take you. <laughs> hey. That's it. Get him up. Take him to the truck. Let's go. Mate. You two, stay put. <laughs> Do you need to drag the other one here, Cross, or are you going to come out nicely? Hey, Jules. All right, wipe the tears off your eyes. Yeah. Okay. It's unreal to catch them. You, you know, most of the time we're too busy to be chasing after them and they get away, but at least this might send a message to all of those kids that come down stealing bags and hopefully it'll deter them a little bit. The three boys were cautioned by police with their parents, but escaped charges. Steve and Brent have just arrived from Melbourne to attend the cricket. Just went for a swim for five minutes and yeah, it's gone, mate. So I don't think we got any hope either. Sometimes they go through a double. Yeah. They have a little walk yeah, in the no, pots no, and that yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah, and then come back here and let us know how you go. Yeah, we have a bag thief on the beach. The likelihood of getting back their valuables is slim. But Steve and Brent aren't the only victims. They're going in the pavilion? What were they, were they wearing green yeah. and green hat, white. Green hat, white? The wee, the wee fat one and, oh, sorry. <laughs> and uh, there was another guy with tattoos and jewelry yeah, yeah. bottles on. So we were watching uh, yeah. other folks' bags while we were in the sea and they were really suspicious. Detective Beardy goes undercover. There's a guy, green hat, white shirt. We've got a mate that got the green hat taking his white shirt off. Back going for round three, mate. We got him in clear sight. Well, I kept an eye on that bloke around the corner, probably where they're dropping the gear back for him, then heading back on the beach. Troy also joins in the covert surveillance. Watch him look at this bag. I don't know where his mate went. His mate had the black tracksuit pants on. Yeah. That's it. 
It shouldn't be too hard to find. Wait, well, you saw him inside? Yeah, that's inside. our lifeguard standing at the statue there. Sure. That guy's still around the corner there. Still there. Hopefully. Yeah, he's just, just in the um, archway there. You'll see him. Right. He's got no shirt on. He's just sitting there. So the bag's there? Oh, I'm pretty sure the bag's are still there. We'll have to go. Thanks, mate. Sweet. Go right here, I'm waiting for an Adams from Waverley Police Station. Yeah. Mate, an allegation made today, all right, that you're going to go through a handbag oh, that's yeah, been stolen down the beach. Whose phone's that? Whose phone's this? Yep. Mates. Your mates. Yeah, he, they're just gone. Police try to establish whether the suspect is working in a gang. Have this bag here, get here. Oh, no, that was, they, that was with them and they, this, they left here and went back. So the boys, the boys down the beach took this bag and brought it back up here for you, is that what you're saying? No, I'm just sitting here, I was with them and they went off. Now under arrest, the teenager potentially faces time in juvenile detention. Take stuff off, take it off your head. You go on the back of this I'll truck wear, here. Wear my Put shirt. it on there. Got him. See that? Who got him? Got the police, got him arrested, got him for all this shit around there. Really? Yeah. With one alleged thief in hand, Lifeguards keep watching the man in the green cap, possibly a second member of the gang. That table was full of gear, mate. There was well, he just picked up that guy's bag. Did he really? Yeah. He did not have that bag on him when he walked down. Give me a look. Oh, behind the tent. Watch. He's just got this guy's bag. Did he go no, to the Nah. No way. He didn't. He just picked that up. Steve and Brent, who had their bag stolen on the way to the cricket, noticed something very familiar. He's wearing his hat and no, saying he's got no, his hat. camera. Where's my the rest of his I don't know where the rest of his is. The idiot's wearing his hat and his sunnies with his camera around his shoulder. With growing evidence that gang of thieves are operating, plain clothes detectives join in. Um, we, we, we videoed him. And that's me. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. He just picked up. No, I was just grabbing it off him. That's all. He what just picked up his bag before. It's pretty lucky that the bloke didn't. Give him one around the chin, I reckon. Last warning for your language. You. You're under arrest for offensive language. Good on you. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Make me stand up. Thank you. I don't want to walk. Can I grab my mate's bag? No. Pass me my mate's bag. Arrest me, please. Yeah, yeah. under arrest. Yeah. We've had three reports of people's um, bags being well, taken off the beach. So far, you know, people can go in for a swim and maybe be in the water for half an hour, 40 minutes. This has all happened over the last sort of hour, so who, who knows? We'll just see how much gear they actually have on them. Ground's hot. I swear in a public place. The ground's I'm hot, man. What else am I supposed to say? I'd like those cigarettes after you've done what you have to do. There's a Xanax right there. I want my smokes back, yep. man. Show on the back of the truck. Show on the back of the truck. Right. A second suspect is in custody, but the boy's big day at the cricket is still in ruins. <laughs> Hey? It was my hat. Yeah. Could you help me out with? Uh, We're supposed to be at the cricket right now, so. Yeah, mum, see you now. <laughs> Trying to get some money. Tickets for the cricket gone. Three bucks fifty. Yeah, we got yeah. three bucks and a car with no keys to get into the car, and yeah, we're stuck. At least Steve's got his hat back.